Hey guys, in this video we're talking about an example where you might want to use the formula d equals v naught times t plus one half a times t squared. This formula doesn't use vf in it anywhere, so if you have a question you're not given final velocity and you're asked to solve for displacement, initial velocity, time, or acceleration, this is probably the formula you're going to want to choose. So I'll read the question out to you. We have an object's displacement is 3,600 meters in the north direction. That displacement happens over 59 seconds. The object started from rest. What is the acceleration? So when it starts from rest, that means the initial velocity is, that should be meters up there, zero meters per second in the north direction. We're asked to solve for A. So plug everything you know into the formula and solve for what you don't know. Displacement was 3600 meters in the north direction. V naught sorry, is zero times time, 59 seconds, plus one over two, acceleration we don't know, and time is 59 seconds, and this time, time is squared. The first thing I would do is say, well, 0 times 59. 0 times anything is 0, so we can cross that out. It's just 0. So 3600 equals 1 over 2 a 59 squared. I just stick that in your calculator. 3481 is what I got. So to solve for a, I think the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply by 2 so that that half will cancel out. 3600 times 2 is 7200 and that equals a times 3481. To get a by itself, you just need to divide by 3481 so that those cancel. Do the same thing to the other side. And we'll be left with A equals 7200 divided by 3481. I get that's equal to about 2.07. And then just think about your units. Acceleration is meters per second squared. And the direction we're traveling throughout the question has been north. So we would say that acceleration is equal to 2.07 meters per second squared in the north direction.